Hey there guys. So, uh, recently I posted information about my uh, build for my Bluetooth uh, integration for my car. So, here's my matrix. I know it's pretty bright outside, so I don't know how well this is going to turn out. And, uh, so, this is the stereo, stereo unit right here. And, um, so what I ended up doing was popping the unit, uh, my device, right behind this area right here, uh, where it sits right above the stereo unit. And uh, these things are actually pretty darn easy to take off. No tools or anything like that required, which freaked me out the first time. There we go. And then you can see... Mm. You can see it a bit back there. Let's see if this will help. No. Uh, actually, I think I have a light. You can tell I'm super organized. <laughs> there we are. So. You can just see the, the unit right here, uh, large antenna, uh, just to make sure that it can get through all this crap in the front. And then, not sh so sure how well this is going to turn out. You can kind of see the wires uh, connecting from the back of the unit into the front, uh, and then there's a little JTAG connector right on the top, you can see right there, uh, just in front of the wires. Um, I can try and pull the guy out, this little guy out. <laughs> I'm gonna roll down the windows. It's <clears throat> just moved to Colorado, and uh, it's hot down here. Okay. So uh, let's see if we can. I attached a bit of Velcro to the bottom of it uh, to keep it from you know, sliding away. And there we are. So here's the unit right here. And in the back you can see all the little the wires that are connected to it. Uh, and then those wires just connect to the back of the stereo. Um, I can post a little bit more information, I probably should have, about the connectors and uh, what the connections go to. But essentially in the back of the stereo here, there's uh, uh, differential uh, si signaling um, for the, the communication AVC LAN. And then there's uh, differential speaker uh, inputs. So uh, speaker uh, left minus positive, speaker right minus positive, uh, power ground, and I think those are all the important ones that I connected up to. Uh, so you have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, wire connections in total. Um, luckily, the the connect connections from the stereo side uh, actually happen to fit um, your standard uh, point uh, one mil header connection uh, connectors just fine. So I ended up buying a bunch of uh, the termination pins. Uh, soldering them to the wires and then popping them onto the back of the stereo. Um, in here, you can see I have uh, uh, tran audio transformers uh, to step up the voltage. And you'll notice when I turn it on and do a demo, uh, I have to crank up the volume really high. Uh, I assume that's because uh, these guys run off of a def differential 12 volt comparison where the Bluetooth module is outputting uh, a maximum of two volts. Uh, so when I initially did my tests, uh, I could barely hear anything. So I ended up putting a uh, two to one uh, gain transformer in there, which helped a good bit, but I still think I need to swap that out for something a little higher gain or an op amp uh, or uh, audio amplifier. Um, so the circuit board is actually right here. Um, yeah, you're not gonna be able to see much from here, unfortunately. Uh, I don't want to risk popping out any of the connectors. I have a magnet on the bottom to 
uh, keep it attached to the stereo. Um, yeah, there's not much else to show. Uh, I'd wished I had thought about this ahead of time and taken lots of pictures, but uh, unfortunately, it's me you're dealing with, so uh, I didn't end up taking any additional pictures, which I always end up regretting. Uh, so yeah, let's just pop this back on. Note to self, um, be careful and make sure that you're putting it in a, back in a way that makes it easy to get out, too. Um, as a side note, it looks like the heat, the heat there is just absolutely, um, the, the heat is absolutely destroying uh, that Velcro, uh, so I think I'm going to have to substitute that with something else. But these stereos come out pretty darn easy. Um, they're only held in by uh, a few uh, bolts. Um, so you can just take a socket wrench uh, with an uh, extender on there and then just take it out. And that's actually how I did all my experimentation was taking this thing out, plopping out of my on my kitchen counter and connecting a, uh, a PC power supply up to it to supply the voltage or end the current. Now, mind you, it does take up a lot of current, especially on startup. Um, so you're, I had a, I, I first tried it with a 230 watt. No, it didn't go. Uh, so I connected it to a uh, very overpowered 1050 watt power supply, which definitely did the trick. Um, but I, I imagine you're probably going to have to go to at least a 600 watt power supply. Mind you, it's designed to be run off uh, 12 volt batteries. So uh, those things can output lots and lots of current. Um, so anyway, let's give it a go, and you can kind of see how it works and everything. So uh, we turn the unit on, and uh, currently what I'm doing is just outputting uh, a time uh, on here as of uh, the uh, initialization. So, or, or sorry, as of playing. So uh, let's turn down the volume a good bit. We'll switch to uh, FM, no chance. No chance at all. and the counter, once we go back to disk, will be reset to zero. Now there is actually no CD in here. Uh, if I did have a CD, I could pop one in, uh, and then you could see uh, that you can actually still use the original disk in here. Um, but basically what it is, is uh, it switches between the CD changer and the CD player uh, in here. Uh, these stairs were designed to have a uh, external a CD changer that could hold six CDs popped into the trunk or the back. Um, obviously, hatchback has no trunk, um, so that wasn't really an option here. Um, it might have been in other, might have been an option, but uh, the original owners never went for that. And uh, you can see it's at a uh, 39 or whatever. And then here I have uh, an old phone and. Uh, stupid focus, stupid autofocus, but uh, right here, there's actually, uh, it's actually connected on Bluetooth right now. So what we can do is we can hit play. Oh, and please excuse my choice of music. Um, now, again, this comes back to the volume. So you'll be able to see... The volume has to be uh, considerably loud, and it actually maxes out at, I think, 64, which means um, it's very, very uh, poor. Uh, I know, I need to step up the voltage, <laughs> is uh, the uh, result of that. And so what you can see is, if we uh, change the track here, Oh, I accidentally hit pause. So if we change the track, you can get a. You can either change it from here, 
and then we can just close that up and leave that alone. Oh, mind you, uh, this is just for power, so, um, that's actually the input, so we have this, and we can go next. And then you can also uh, use these two buttons here. Uh, it's actually pretty easy to hook into those. So we can go forward. And then we can go back. And I think that's all I have for the demo. Uh, so again, the, the two things that I need to uh, have implemented are the ex uh, increased voltage range because uh, right now I'm running at about uh, 0 to 4, four volts which uh, actually uh, yeah it's 0 4 volts something like that uh, peak to peak which is not going to work um, so I have to get a, either a differential amplifier or uh, a higher uh, gain transformer in there uh, in addition what I really want to have is eventually a little hole up here for the speaker or uh, microphone so I can actually talk over the phone. Um, the profile is enabled right now so I can actually listen to calls. Uh, unfortunately uh, I won't be able to uh, respond to them so we can actually do that real quick. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to remember my new phone number. Uh, uh, Actually, uh, let's receive a call. Okay, so apparently I can't make a call. Um, <laughs> I, I just exited the app. It doesn't keep recording, unfortunately. Um, so I won't be able to demo that. Um, but it's not a feature that's really implemented yet anyways. So for now, uh, at least I have music in my car. Um, I posted all the information um, on my Google Code account now, uh, so you can actually uh, visit my project um, in on Google Code um, instead of uh, downloading a silly little uh, repository. Instead of downloading a, a zip file or something, uh, you can just get it off of Git. Uh, I, I'm going to start using Git now from this point on for all my code work, as well as schematics, um, simply because it's easier it's easier to maintain um, it's better for people if they're using it in the future uh, it's easier to get updates um, I had an issue a major issue with that uh, with my handheld POV project uh, you might have seen initially I went with uh, non USB uh, and then I added USB and uh, a lot of people didn't even know um, that I actually implemented that and made some code fixes and code changes um, so there's that um, and in the end, it's a little more professional anyways uh, to have everything under version control, um, which is something I, I very much recommend to uh, any maker uh, looking at doing any of this kind of stuff. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, I think that's it. Uh, so, you know, tell me what you think, uh, any improvements that you might consider. Um, I'm very much up for a discussion on what I should be doing to step up that uh, differential voltage. Um, it, remember, it is a differential input. Uh, it is a high impedance input. That's one of the reasons I considered the transformer, was because I needed differential and it uh, wasn't, current wasn't going to be much of an issue. Um, but if you have any other suggestions, I very much, uh, I would very much like to hear them. So, uh, yeah, you, you can check out my blog. I've moved to uh, a... Uh, Blogspot account instead of Hackett. Um, unfortunately, Hackett started getting some strange uh, glitches uh, in random places, uh, which I didn't much care for. Um, and, you know, I was able to find a decent name for my new account, so uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, if you have any other ideas or suggestions, uh, drop me a line on my uh, blog. Um, other than that, uh, Happy making!